Florida has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kentucky's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nearly intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 24. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on a scramble. That makes it second and six. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. Third down. tries to buy some time. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. We've got a first and ten. Ball in the 42. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. And he's tackled at the 49. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Gators really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. First down. Ready! And a quick throw. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Number 14 on the tackle at the 40-yard line. 
really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Finds his man. First down. He's taken down. It's the 44-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 47. Number 21 brings him down at the 47 yard line. Mike 12. Mike 12. That'll make it second and seven. I got you. I got you. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. 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 Caught and he's hit immediately. They're about four yards away here on third down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. He's scrambling, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Second and 10, ball on the 32. They'll bring him down at the 20. That's good for him. That makes it first and 10. Gets to about the 17 yard line. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number six is the intended receiver. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Mike 12, Mike 12. What's the run? They're running it. Blue in the air. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's into the open field. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown. Big play. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Oh, 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and three. hit immediately from their own 42 yard line first down loss of one there for the halfback that is a loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 11. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and 13. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Four down, four down. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. Set, green 19, green 19. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 36. That is a loss of three yards. That makes it fourth and long. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wildcats get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback, and we'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. Ready! Kill, 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 kill. And he's leveled at the 38. Gain of nine yards. First down. Mike 12. Mike 12. I got it. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Big dog. Quick, quick, quick. Run, run. Gets out to around the 48. That's good for a of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Fox 2! Fox 2! Fox 2! Red 18! Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of 6 yards. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. He 
makes it to the 45-yard line. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. The back gets three on the carry. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off the ball carry. Tailback brought down for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Leaping interception by the linebacker. Brad, I'm gonna put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've gotta be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. Complete. He's got room. A pickup of four on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled right away. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Quick throw. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Got hit and still completed it. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The Wildcats use their second timeout. This is the ninth play of this drive. Rosen and it's caught for the touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And you know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Kentucky ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. That'll make it second and seven.
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the eight-yard line. That's a gain of five on one play. That makes it four. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 17-3, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither team has allowed a sack in this game. And while a lot of fans, and look, we've been guilty of it in here sometimes as we watch games from around the country, your eye sort of follows the ball. You want to see what happens. But then there's the game inside the game. What's it like in the trenches, offensive line versus defensive line, particularly when one side's winning every time, in this case, the offensive line? Well, it's always tough to judge because you could be doing your job just fine, but because the secondary doesn't play well, maybe it's just it, you're doing your job, but the secondary's not, and you look really bad on the same token. But, you know, it's it's the most physical spot on the field. You got you get your hands on those big, fat guys every single time, and you got to shed them, and you got to push them back, and you exert a lot of force and a lot of energy. And it, it's not – on defense, you just try to see ball, get ball. You know, offensive, those offensive linemen, they got a little bit more brains to them. They, they know where they're going. They know where the play is. They know the snap count. It's a little bit easier for them. That's going to do it at halftime. I'm just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, the Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just time. about set to start the second half. Four, he kicks it off, two. and he got all of that one. <laughs> this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws and it's incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Let's go! Here's the halfback on the screen. That's a loss of two yards on the way. That makes it fourth and twelve. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Oh, excellent punt. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Receivers. Big opening. And he's tackled around the 39 yard line. First down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 37. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got 
Got it and brought down immediately. That makes it third and three. Fires complete over the middle. He's taken down at the 30. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. They'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and 10. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's the ninth play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. They come out on an empty backfield. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Check, 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 He launches one for the end zone. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks up, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 28 to 3, Kentucky. Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He steps out at the 28. That's a three-yard pickup. And a great job of not allowing this explosive freshman to do anything with the ball after the catch. They're packed in tight on the line. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number 16 makes the set play at the 32 yard line. That brings up fourth and three. It's away and it's a booming punt. Looking for the corner, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Gators have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches, getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Brought down around the 30-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He really got a hold of that one. 
They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Tackle made the 38-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Wildcats lead 20 to 3. That'll move the chance for Florida. First down. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. Mike 40, Mike 40. Throws it to the outside. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Ready, red 18. Red! Check, check! Hammerhead! Caught, and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Here we go! Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Tight end right! Four down, four down. Yeah, check, hey, Mike. Ready! Right! Check, check! Big dog! And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That, that makes it fourth and long. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. All day, defense, all day, all day. 40's Mike, 40's a Mike. Set, check, check. 98 wins. <laughs> Nearly intercepted. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires out to his wideout. That makes it second and two. Stay with your man. Ready. Red 18. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third and two. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Fires 
throws out to his receiver. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. That brings up second. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 21. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Three down, three down. Hey, we're going Mike 40, Mike 40. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the way. That'll make it fourth and 14. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Kentucky supposed to have been the underdog coming in here today, but their performance and the score certainly doesn't reflect that. And I've been blown away by this effort today. Big underdog. They end up not just winning the game, but blowing out their opponent. This is a game that not only you're happy to win, but it can change your season around, really even change the perception of your program. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Mike 12, Mike 12. Let's go! 59 Philly! Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. A little over a minute in the game. Ready! Wide and yank! Wide and yank! Run, 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 run. You'll get it again. Tackle at the 49. Game in three yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. The Gators taking their first time out of the half. Watch the run, watch the run. They line up at the nine. It's second down. Throws complete, big loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. He's in trouble. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 11. A seven-yard pickup on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Booming kick. Brought down at the 47-yard line. And the ball game's over. The Wildcats get the win here. 20-3. to And the That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.